Now, would you be willing to provide a scan of your eye in order to get hold of a new cryptocurrency? That is what is required to authenticate your identity if you want to use WorldCoin, a new form of digital money that has just been launched. It's the brainchild of Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. The scanners look like this, and the company says they are necessary because AI is making it more difficult to distinguish humans from bots. The release comes as regulators increasingly crack down on crypto over fears that it is enabling fraud and unhealthy speculation. Despite its name, WorldCoin will not be available in the US. WorldCoin is a cryptocurrency project that aims to provide a global digital identity and financial network. It is being developed by Tools for Humanity, a company founded by OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, Max Novenstern, and Alex Blania. WorldCoin works by scanning people's irises using a device called an orb. The orb takes a unique biometric identifier from each person's iris, which is then used to create a world ID. This world ID can be used to verify a person's identity online, and it also entitles the person to receive a share of the WorldCoin cryptocurrency. The WorldCoin cryptocurrency is based on the Ethereum blockchain. It is a layer 2 token, which means that it is built on top of the Ethereum blockchain but has its own separate security and economic system. The World Coin token is not yet available for trading, but it is expected to be released in the near future. World Coin has been criticized by some privacy advocates who worry that the iris scanning technology could be used to track people's movements and activities. However, the World Coin team has said that the iris scanning data will be encrypted and stored in a decentralized manner, so that it cannot be used to track individuals. The World Coin project is still in its early stages but it has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with the digital world. By providing a global digital identity and financial network, WorldCoin could make it easier for people to access online services and participate in the global economy. Here are some of the key features of WorldCoin. It uses iris scanning to create a unique biometric identifier for each person. It provides a global digital identity that can be used to verify a person's identity online. It entitles the person to receive a share of the WorldCoin cryptocurrency. It is based on the Ethereum blockchain. It is a Layer 2 token. It is not yet available for trading. WorldCoin is a controversial project, but it has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with the digital world. Only time will tell whether it will be successful. Sam Bankman Fried and Three Arrows Capital were both investors in WorldCoin, a cryptocurrency startup that is developing a global identification system based on people's irises. Sam Bankman Fried is the founder and CEO of FTX, a cryptocurrency exchange. Three Arrows Capital is a hedge fund that invests in cryptocurrency. Both Sam Bankman Fried and Three Arrows Capital invested in WorldCoin's Series A round which was held in October 2021. The round raised $20 million. The investment by Sam Bankman Freed and Three Arrows Capital was seen as a major endorsement of WorldCoin. However, the investment has also been criticized, as both Sam Bankman Freed and Three Arrows Capital have been involved in controversy. SBF has been criticized for his handling of the implosion of FTX a stablecoin that lost its peg to the US dollar in May 2022. Three Arrows Capital has also been criticized for its investment in Luna, the cryptocurrency that underpins Terra USD. The investment by Sam Bankman Freed and Three Arrows Capital in WorldCoin has raised concerns about the company's future. Some critics have argued that the company is too closely aligned with the cryptocurrency industry, which is already facing a number of challenges. The WorldCoin project has been met with controversy, with some people raising concerns about the privacy implications of iris scanning technology. Others have questioned the company's transparency and its business model. One of the biggest concerns about WorldCoin is that the iris scanning technology could be used to track people's movements and activities. 
The IRIS is a unique and sensitive biometric identifier, and its use could lead to mass surveillance. The World Coin team has said that the IRIS scanning data will be encrypted and stored in a decentralized manner, so that it cannot be used to track individuals. However, privacy advocates remain skeptical, and they argue that there is no way to guarantee that the data will not be used for malicious purposes. Transparency Concerns The World Coin team has also been criticized for its lack of transparency. The company has not released a white paper or any other detailed information about how the project will work. This has made it difficult for people to assess the risks and benefits of participating in the project. Business Model Concerns Some people have also questioned the World Coin business model. The company plans to give away free World Coin tokens to people who have their irises scanned. However, it is unclear how the company will make money. Some people have speculated that the company could sell the iris scanning data to advertisers or other third parties. The World Coin project is still in its early stages, and it is too early to say whether it will be successful. However, the project has raised a number of concerns about privacy, transparency, and the business model. It is important to be aware of these concerns before deciding whether or not to participate in the project. The black market emerged on Chinese social media and e-commerce sites, where sellers were offering KYC verifications for the World app, which offers wallet and ID services. The credentials often come from developing countries like Cambodia and Kenya, according to social media posts. WorldCoin has said that there have been a few hundred instances of such activity and no sensitive data was shared. However, the company has expressed concern that the black market could be used for fraud or other malicious purposes. The emergence of a black market for WorldCoin credentials is just the latest in a series of challenges that the company has faced. In recent months, WorldCoin has also been criticized for its privacy practices and its lack of transparency. It remains to be seen how WorldCoin will address the challenges it is facing. However, the emergence of a black market for world coin credentials is a sign that the company's efforts to build a global identification system are facing significant obstacles. The black market for world coin credentials is being driven by the fact that the company is offering a free cryptocurrency, WLD, to people who sign up for the world app. The credentials on the black market are often obtained by people who are paid to have their irises scanned by world coin. WorldCoin has said that it is working to address the black market by improving its security measures and by working with law enforcement. The emergence of a black market for WorldCoin credentials is a serious challenge for the company. However, it is also a sign that there is demand for a global identification system. It remains to be seen whether WorldCoin will be able to overcome the challenges it is facing and build a successful global identification system. One of the biggest concerns about WorldCoin is that it could be used to create a surveillance state. The iris scanning technology used by WorldCoin could be used to track people's movements and identify them without their consent. This could be used by governments to crack down on dissent or by corporations to target people with advertising. Another concern about WorldCoin is that it could lead to a loss of privacy. The company has said that it will not store any personal data from the iris scans, but critics have argued that the data could still be used to identify people or to track their movements. This could have a chilling effect on free speech and freedom of movement. In addition, there are concerns about the security of WorldCoin's iris scanning technology. In January 2023, a security researcher was able to bypass the company's security measures and access the iris scans of people who had been scanned by WorldCoin. This raises concerns about the company's ability to protect people's privacy. Overall, WorldCoin is a controversial project with the potential to create a dystopian future. The company's iris scanning technology could be used to track people's movements, identify them without their consent, and even lead to a loss of privacy. It is important to be aware of these risks before deciding whether or not to participate in WorldCoin.
the company's iris scanning technology could be used to create a social credit system similar to the one that is used in china this system would track people's behavior and award or deduct points based on their compliance with certain norms world coin could be used to create a cashless society in which people are only able to make payments using world coin this would give the company a great deal of power over people's financial lives world coin could be used to create a digital id system that would track people's movements and activities online this would give governments and corporations unprecedented access to people's personal data it is important to note that these are just potential risks it is possible that world coin will be used for good rather than for evil however the potential for dystopian outcomes is real and it is something that we should all be aware of